Oh, what's up, man? You just chilling? Oh, hey, man, what's up? I, I wanted to ask you, how's it been not buying manga for the last two months? Yeah, actually, it hasn't really been that bad. I I've been just watching anime, just catching up on some shows, catching up on some books. It's been pretty chill. Yeah, awesome. Well, I mean, congrats, man, but I just, you know, I'm surprised that you wanted to do this challenge during all these deals and sales going on. What do you mean? What do you mean sales? What do you what do you mean deals? What sales? What deals? Wait, you you, you haven't heard about Kino Kamiya's 20% off deal happening all week? Kino Kamiya had a 20% off sale? Hello everybody, I'm Tibby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a very small manga haul, which, you know, there's good news and bad news with today's video. Good news, we got a manga haul. Bad news is it has not been a full two months, which means I have failed my no manga buying uh, two month challenge. Failure. Which, you know, I still feel part of myself. I made it about a month and a half of not buying a single volume of manga. But not buying, but forcing myself to not buy manga for the last, you know, month and a half, almost two months, has definitely taught me a little bit more restraint when it comes to purchasing volumes for specific series. Uh, for example, there have been series that I've been collecting all the way up to like volume 15, volume 16, and I have not read any volumes of it. A bad example is Bakamoto Gatari, which I read, I have read like the first four volumes, but right now there's like volume 15 and I've just been consistently collecting them. And and my only real reason is because the art's done by uh, Oh Great. So, you know, favorite artists, awesome, but I still wanna make sure I'm much more specific and selective with what stays in my collection. I do plan to do a manga unhauling video pretty soon to kind of go over, you know, some lessons that I've gained from collecting manga. I've only been collecting manga for the last like year, year and a half. And so there's definitely been a lot of lessons that I've learned. And uh, I think I'll save that for that future unhaul slash tips and tricks video. But anyway, that's not what we're going to be talking about today. Today is going to be a manga haul, like I said. So let's go ahead and go through what I got. Now, before we get into that, please, if you do like today's content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I love engaging and, you know, I make it a point to, to interact with comment section and, you know, I'm going to be showing you my haul today, so I would love if you share what you've picked up recently and in what you're reading, what you're excited to be reading. So yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and look at what we got. Now I gotta start off this manga haul with one of my favorite series, Volume 12 of Black Lagoon by Ray Hero. Uh, I thought it was interesting that the spine has like the Revy's guns on, on it when none of the other volumes have that. I thought that was kind of weird. But um, a nice little touch, I guess. But uh, but anyway, in this volume, it's the beginning of a new arc. Won't get into any spoilers, but uh, love reading this series. L really enjoy the art. Love all the characters. I, I just can't get enough. So very happy. Had a very fun time reading this volume. And if you haven't read Black Lagoon, I strongly urge you to start today. It's amazing. Next up in the hall is Our Dreams at Dusk, Volume 2 by Yuti Kamatani. Now, I, I'm not, I haven't really been paying attention if this series is popular or is getting the love and attention it deserves, but I love volume one. I have not read this volume yet. And this is basically a coming of age story about a person who is, I guess, coming to terms and accepting their sexuality and fighting a community and a group of people that uh, they feel safe with and can kind of learn more about coming out. So love this story, love the perspective it gives, and yeah, definitely recommend reading this story as well. Next in the hall is Run On Your New Legs, Volume 2 by Wataru Midori. Now this is a story that I stumbled upon and just picked up Volume 1 on a whim and fell in love with the story. And this is a story about uh, the main character who's on the, the front cover, who is very active, they play soccer, they run around, and then one day, 
a tragic accident happens to them where they lose one of their legs. And then a prosthetic salesman kind of runs into him and sees that this is a person that you know was active and has a chance of becoming big in the uh, Paralympics. And so uh, it's really just kind of like a coming of age, kind of like a sports manga about uh, Paralympics. And yeah, and I really enjoy it. So if that sounds interesting, I definitely recommend picking it up as well. Now, next is volume two of The Girl in the Arcade by Okusho and Migmi. And this is kind of like a, a typical etchy series about a boy who works in an arcade and these, these girls ha uh, have this infatuation with him. So they're like fighting over him. And there's a, a new girl that's introduced in volume two. So it's becoming a harem series. I guess I'm not really surprised, but um, I really enjoy the art. And there's uh, probably the biggest thing for me is that there's constant um, explanations in great detail about common arcade machines and kind of how they're kind of built to work against you, which I think is really interesting that it explains that. Here we have volume three of Sakamoto Days. I, I know this series is good, but I have to, I, I can't lie. I have only read the first volumes worth on the Shonen Jump app, and I haven't read any of my physical volumes yet. Um, but now that I have the first three, I am going to just binge these first three volumes. And depending on how I feel about it, I'll either just binge it on the app or just kind of stay consistent with the uh, English releases. From what I have read, it's funny. The art's cool. The action's cool. It's kind of typical shonen for me so far, so nothing that really stands out. But I know if I have a shonen itch to scratch, this is a series I can rely on. Next is volume or our volumes three through four of Tokyo Revengers in the English Omnibus by Ken Wakui. And not really a whole lot to say. Uh, Tokyo Revengers, uh, a lot of hype because of the anime and sales have been going crazy in Japan. So super happy to, it's kind of wild that we already have two volumes out, so which is really awesome. Um, I know there's been some drama with the second volume because of the page quality. There's like two different versions. I was fortunate enough to find the, the higher quality page version. You can kind of tell because the pages are, are like wider and, and it looks much better on the shelf than what the other version would look like. Look like. But, um, but yeah, I love Tokyo Revengers. The beginning is so good, so I'm happy to be rereading it. Next up is volume two of Blue Lock. Uh, this is by M Miniyuki Kaneshiro and Yusuke Nomura. Uh, well, I am, okay, reading this volume, I'm so hyped for the anime and I'm so tempted to yo ho ho if you catch my drift, um, the remaining chapters of this series because it is so good. Like the spreads of like the soccer scoring and just how super like anime it looks I, I can't really explain it that well but uh, just I, the characters are so cool it's like everyone's like this super uh, like over dramatized like stereotype and it, yeah I just really and look, look at this art look at how dumb it goes oh my god I, I'm so hyped for this anime now next up we have volumes 2 and 3 of 2.5 dimensional seduction by Yu Hashimoto now, I've read volume one a long time ago, and I just went ahead and picked these both up because ghost print titles are, I think, well, actually just seven C's titles in general are more expensive, $14, which is a lot. So getting these for 20% off was uh, was a great thing to happen. But but yeah, this story is actually, as I'm reading it, it's more, it's becoming more of a genuine story about people who are super passionate about cosplay, which is super cool. It's like a much, much etchier version of My Dress Up Darling. So if you're looking for something along those lines, I definitely recommend this series. Next up is volume two of The Elusive Samurai by Yusei Matsui, same mangaka of Assassination Classroom or my favorite abbreviation in anime slash manga, As Class. Uh, Again, this is like a this is a, a weekly Shonen Jump series that I have not caught up with. I am not week to week on this. Same same with Sakamoto Days. So now that I have two volumes, I'm going to go ahead and binge through these. And depending on my feelings, I'll either just stick to the English releases, uh, catch up in on the Viz app, or drop it entirely. So we'll see how I you know how I feel.
Now, next up is volume 20 of Komi Can't Communicate by Tomohito Oda. The infamous cover, shout out to Chase the Dark Sage. Um, again, if you know, you know. But anyway, for some reason, I didn't think it'd be literal when we opened the story with Komi is going to get 100 friends. That's like her challenge. And here we are 20 volumes later, and she's definitely making progress, but we're not even halfway. So, yeah, there's been some plot progression in the last couple volumes, but it's just more of the same of meeting new students, Komi making new friends, etc. And the final volume of today's haul is volume 24 of Hunter Hunter, which I am so freaking stoked for because this is the final volume of my Hunter Hunter set. So I have now, I'm up to date, one through 36 of Hunter Hunter. And yeah, it feels, it feels great. C completing a set is probably one of the greatest feelings ever. So, um, but yeah, this is a volume that's, I believe this is the beginning of the Chimera art, Chimera Ant arc in the series. So, or actually no, I think it's in the middle because uh, Mayor Rim is on the cover. So, uh, but yeah, um, not much to say. It's Hunter Hunter, super popular. People know it. So, uh, and they are, they've been reprinting these like crazy. So if you want to start collecting them, now is the time. And that is our haul. So that is it for today's video. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's haul. And yeah, again, that's it. Please be on the lookout for future videos. And as promised, I will be releasing a manga unhauling video and some tips and tricks of my collect manga collecting journey so far. So have a great one and we'll see you next time.